What is going on you guys? Welcome back to another episode here of Outdoor Sensei. My name is Jamal and today we are in Green Bay, Wisconsin and today target species is whitefish. We already got a couple early this morning. Speaking of, there's one on the screen right now as I'm doing my intro. But yeah, we got some early this morning. Uh, we got here around 5.30 in the morning and right away, right at 6 a.m. Boom, we got two back to back, but I didn't have the GoPro ready. We got an airplane flying right over us. But anyways, if you guys have yet, make sure you head down there, hit that subscribe button, and stay tuned. Hopefully, we can get on some more and try to get you guys some good footage. Hopefully, we can get a catch clean cook here for you guys. And yeah, I'll show you guys my setup here really quick. All right, so today I'm using my Calling Monster custom rod. You guys check that out. And for the rig setup, we have we are using the slider rig technique. So pretty much what it is is you got a free hook, just swinging or sliding, sliding on your main line, and then you have a swivel and then like a foot leader line that goes down. It can, you can you can use a tungsten. A lot of people use jigging wraps, you know whatever you want to use to anchor on. Uh, that bottom lure and everything will be tipped with waxy so that seems to do the trick um, pretty much just putting two waxy on each each hook stay tuned you guys hopefully we can get on them you're reading also yeah we fish oh. what the heck the mine's getting blown that way so it's hard for me to read mine He's back. Oh, right there. Let's go. Damn, he took the top one too. Let's go. Check that out, you guys. <laughs> Make sure to bring to the middle. <laughs> oh, that drop good. Come on, come on. You need more No, okay. Oh, okay. dude, that's how easy. <laughs> Yeah, that's a big one. Oh, Alright you guys, so we are in the kitchen now. Just got home. Today was brutal cold, man. So we got to the bay around 6 in the morning. And, you know, the, the bite was pretty good. Um, we just got done setting up and then like 5 minutes into fishing. And then I already got hooked up. And that fish, I did not get that on the GoPro because I wasn't even ready and it, it just happened so quick that I didn't get a chance to turn on the GoPro we left today with uh, four fish as you guys can see and that's pretty much about it yeah if you guys like this video so far make sure you hit that thumbs up and we're gonna get 
uh, the fish cleaned up right here. I don't really know how I'm gonna cook it yet, but I wanna try something different, something that I haven't done on this channel. So yeah, let's get to it. All right, so in here I got some sticky rice. We're gonna try cooking sticky rice in the rice cooker. So right now I'm just gonna rinse the sticky rice. Normally, I don't use a strainer, but for sticky rice, I do. Because I want to make sure I get the perfect amount of water, which is very, very important. So I got three cups of sticky rice. I'm going to add two cups of water. That's all we really need, you guys. So if it was white rice, no, I don't, I don't do that measuring stuff, but sticky rice, you have to. I got three cups of sticky rice and then two cups of water. All we gotta do is put it in the rice cooker, close it, and do a white rice. That's it. Boom! Look at the size of that, you guys. I have never filleted a white fish before, but I want to show you guys this new knife that I just picked up from Amazon. It is a foldable fillet knife. So I've always wanted a foldable one. That way it is more convenient, you know, because I go out fishing a lot. So I can always carry this with me. It's got a little um, clip right here so you can put it in your pocket or whatever. Uh, this knife, it does come with a uh, little pouch where you can put your knife in there but I don't really use it so it's pretty cool stainless steel very sharp all you gotta do is press that and then it closes got some grip right here grip all around here and the brand of this knife is a outdoor edge so we're gonna give it a try today and here we go So, it is my first time cleaning a whitefish or filleting a whitefish. I've cleaned them before but not filleted. So I just got done watching a YouTube video and yeah, we'll see how that goes. So I saw that the guy went straight down the head, just like that. We're still frozen you guys, solid. <laughs> So I think we're just going to work our way around. And then I saw when they got like halfway, the guy went through and I'm trying to go through. There we go. Go all the way to the back. I'm gonna go down one more time. Nice and smooth. Fish is still frozen. <laughs> and then now we are at the rib cage.
Not bad. That's pretty good. We got this line right here of bone. So I'm just gonna go straight down just like that. That should do it, I think. So yeah, I think we're good, guys. We're gonna try that. These are gonna be our little fish fingers. This bigger piece, I wanna do something else with it. So yeah, we're pretty much gonna do the same thing to the other side here. And then, yeah, we'll see where we go from there. We're gonna add a little vegetable oil here. So what we're making right now is, we're gonna make a sauce. And this sauce is gonna be poured over our fried fish. So hopefully it turns out good. All right, you guys, so this is what we are gonna use for this next recipe here. Uh, we got some tomato on the vine. We're gonna use garlic. We got fresh cilantro, green onion, and some sh shallops right here. So we're gonna start cutting this up. Alright, so we will start with the green onions.
while this is going, we are going to get the tomato ready. I think we might be good with one. Looks like it's a lot already. Mm. It's already smelling good it is. We got garlic. Yeah, shallow it Smells amazing right now. We got some fish sauce right here. We got some soy sauce. So we're just gonna soften the tomato. Everything's just gonna get really soft. And then this is just gonna go right over our fish. I'm gonna turn this to very low heat. Add our green onion cilantro. And that smells good, you guys. Mm. All right, we're gonna leave that aside. Now we're gonna start cooking the fish. All right, so for the fish, what I want to do is I want to make sure my fish is really dry. Just gonna pat it down. We're gonna put these into cornstarch. Once you pat it dry, you got the cornstarch right here. I'm just gonna lay it in, just like that. Alright, here we go you guys. The whole purpose of cornstarch is I want to see if we can get it like a little gold. But then you know, when I put the fish in, all the cornstarch kind of went away. So, I don't know, we'll see. But that looks pretty good. That looks really good. I'm a little OCD, so I want to turn this this way. <laughs> Look at that. This fish is definitely ready. Ooh. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful piece right here. Hopefully you guys can see that. Look at that you guys.
Gonna heat up the sauce here really quick. All right, our sticky rice is ready. Ooh, it is steaming. Got the sticky rice right here. So all we're gonna do, put the fish right there, just like so. And then just pour the sauce right over it. Just like that, you guys. We got our nice sticky rice and a fish. All right, you guys, here we go. This is the moment of truth. We got some crunchy fish. You can hear that. The fish is still crunchy. It definitely smells good. Hmm. Mm. With sticky rice. It's good. Crazy thing is, kind of made this recipe on the fly. All right, you guys, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. That will help out the channel a lot. Today, we definitely kind of winged it. Uh, brand new recipe on the channel. I know I've been doing a lot of just deep frying or pan frying fish. Um, you know, I, I like to try these new things and you know, it turned out really good. Um, anyways, we had a successful day out on the water. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't yet. And I'll see you guys next time.